everyone. I, I'm going to show you today how to use the kite fold and how to adapt it so that it fits babies at different different stages. A lot of people have problems once the baby gets bigger that actually getting the kite to work. So um, I'm going to show you how to adjust it. This is a 60 centimeter square, okay, um, which is a burst potty. Now, if I do the first fold of a kite fold, it goes into there. Now, for a, a newborn or a tiny baby, go about two thirds of the way right across because we're going to overlap these. So that one goes there and that one goes there. Now, the width that we've got at the top here, if I fold that down, which is where it's going to be, that width is actually quite usable on a newborn baby just because they overlap but if your baby's bigger than that here's my whopper there's no way they're going to even come round so even when that's folded up and coming across and you've got a bit extra there's no way they're going to meet so what we need to do is extend this measurement and it's actually really easy to do if I fold that in there and there, like I just did, we have that width for the waist. If I fold this in not so far, let's make them meet in the middle, which is the, the, the standard way, it's actually quite a lot wider. It's still probably not wide enough for that whopper, but it's a lot wider than it was. If I put that on a newborn baby, it would be absolutely ridiculous because it would go round twice. So that would be absurd on a newborn baby. For this whopper, which is a two-year-old equivalent, you can see already that it's got bigger. Now you can do that and you can use two nippers if you want to do it that way. You can use two nippers, one each side, do them slightly at an angle, there and there. This of course is much easier on a, a proper baby than it is on a doll. Uh, because there's nothing to hold it there. But it is possible to do, we've got caught on, on our arm, <laughs> like that, just angle them in, in slightly. And it, it's quite possible to do. But I'm not gonna go further with that because there is a way to make these wings even wider. Let's get that off. Let's have my baby out of the way. Now, you don't have to make them meet in the middle. Here, we've got a width. I should have used my tape, shouldn't I? Let's get my tape. No, I can't see it. Here it is. That width joined, and this is a 60 centimetre square, uh, centimetre square, you've got a width of about 49, 50 centimetres around, across there. But, if we fold these in even less, and there's no reason why you can't, you're extending it again. This is going to be at the back, so you're not too worried about there, you don't need absorbency there. This is going to come up, so it's going to fill that gap there. So you've still got plenty of absorbency, but the width now, I'll show you, is, let's fold that down. That's a whopping 57 centimeters, which is plenty big enough, even for this whopper probably. Fold that up, up we come, and it will come. And that will do with one nipper. And that's that's a good two-year-old. Um, this is a two two-year size, obviously not anatomically correct because she, she hasn't got much stuffing here. Um, but that's the kite on a two-year-old with enough certainly to be usable. There are ways of using a 60 centimetre square even beyond that with a different fold but that's about as far as the kite will go but it is very easy to adjust so do have a play with it see what you can do with them it's surprising when you actually come to do it how well it works. If you have any queries please email me info at littlepants.co.uk um, and go and have a play. Bye for now.